Hello, my name is Ricky Irons and I'm the Health and Safety Manager at the College. Thank you for joining me on this brief evacuation update. This briefing follows the October 2013 update of the evacuation policy and captures a number of action points arising from the recent fire drills. As a Health and Safety Manager new to the College, I have to say I was very impressed with the speed in which you all evacuated the buildings and the overall behaviour shown throughout the evacuation. To make this even better, there are a few learning points I would like to draw to your attention. When the alarm sounds, leave by your nearest fire evacuation route. These can be identified by the green and white signs. Your nearest evacuation route may be different to the route you normally use to enter the building. The central staircases in the main buildings are not evacuation routes. They provide no protection from fire and should only be used as a last resort. If it's safe to do so, the first member of staff to use a fire exit door must stay at that door to prevent anybody re-entering the building until the evacuation is complete and the alarm is silenced. Once outside, go to your designated fire assembly point. Since the procedure update, please note there are only two assembly points at each campus. Remember, whilst outside and the evacuation is ongoing, do not smoke, do not move vehicles, keep away from the building in evacuation and always follow the instructions given by the fire marshals who will be visible in yellow vests and the evacuation manager who will be visible in an orange vest. When the evacuation is over, do not enter the building until you are told to do so. Always follow the instructions given by the evacuation manager. We need a phased return to the building to ensure no one is injured. Thank you for taking the time to listen. I'm sure if we put these points into practice, we will all contribute to making the next evacuation even better.